Hello! Did you know that all the any 9 data services service instances come with the any 9 service dashboard ready to be used? Via the dashboard, not only are you able to see your instances, basic metrics and information, you're also able to create backups and restore from said backups. To get to the service dashboard, we can look up the URL by using the Cloud Foundry service command as shown in screen. Let us do just that. For this demo, we already have an instance ready called DS demo. So let us go to it. CF service DS demo. As you can see, this command shows you the basic information about your service instance, the name, the service type, the plan you use, which we mentioned in a previous video, the description of said plan, and the important part, your dashboard URL. So, we just copy that dashboard here. As you can see, as soon as you browse to the dashboard URL, you are redirected to a page that requires you to authenticate your credentials, namely your Cloud Foundry credentials. Let us do just that. For this case, demo at any night and You have to accept the application authorization. Uh, feel free to read through the information there. In my case, I already know it, so I am already authorizing it. And now that we're in the service dashboard, let's have a quick look at what it has to offer. On the top right, you can see a slider button and an orange reload button. The slider activates the automatic reload, meaning that your dashboard will reload itself every 30 seconds or so. The orange reload button is just a manual reload button. To the left, we have the general information of your service instance, the path it belongs to, the service instance name, the service uh, space, and the organization it belongs to. We also can see, in we go a bit below, the instance basic metrics. On the right side, we can see the available backups and in the available backups you can see a small gear on the right that is our setting menu this allows you to manually trigger a backup set an encryption key and show the deleted backups the table will show you the creation time of the backup the size of the backup and the duration of how long it took to complete and below our back available backups the restore history which this being a newly created instance doesn't have any restore. You can instantly notice two things in the dashboard. There are some available backups already and there is a pair of action buttons which one of them is not enabled, the download button. Well, the reason behind this is the download is not encrypted. But first things first, where did these backups come from? Well, these backups are created by our automation. And the reason that they're not encrypted is because we haven't set an encryption key. Our backups are encrypted, but the encryption key is not available to you as it is part of the automation. If you want to encrypt them, you have to set your own encryption key. But just because they're not encrypted, doesn't mean we cannot use them. We can literally use them to restore out of the box. As you can see, let us do so. The, the restoration has been triggered. A few moments later, it will appear as a success in the restore history, and we can see it's already been queued. But while we wait for this, let us go back to the download. Why can't we download, as mentioned before, as the encryption key has not been set. So, let us do this that. You go to settings, set an encryption key, and for intents and purposes, because we're not looking at security here, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why eight? Because the minimum character is eight characters. And with this, as soon as we set the encryption key, sorry about that, the next backup we create will be a backup that we can download. 
Let us create a backup. We go and manually trigger a backup. Shouldn't take that long as there is not much information in this instance, or rather data, because it's fairly new. It was just created for the intents and purposes of this demo. We can actually trigger a restore from any of the other backups. And as you can see, we are able to download our backup. Also, our restore is almost done. Let us use the reload page. And like that, we also restored. And with that, you have seen the basics of the N9 service dashboard. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and share your questions and thoughts on our social media channels. Until next time.